Hello and welcome to this month's edition of APG News Watch. I'm Dennis Neal. In this edition, we're going to take a look at a new helmet technology, APG's Eagle program, and the magic of science. But first, APG's scientific and engineering community showcased research and development contract opportunities during a two-day event this month at Harford Community College. RDECOM's Dave McNally has the story. The Army's scientific and engineering community showcased research and development contract opportunities during a two-day event, June 16th and 17th at Harford Community College. Many private companies interested in technology transfer, collaborative projects, and government contracts participated in the event with displays and demonstrations. Organizers targeted entrepreneurs, independent and academic researchers, inventors, and current or potential contractors. Tracy Pinson, Army Small Business Director, gave the keynote presentation on day one. I would encourage you all to take a look at the um, Army website and to review our Army posture statement that goes more into detail on the R4 Gen mission objectives and things of that nature so that you can familiarize yourself with the updated uh, mission of the Department of the Army because it's one of the business with us clearly have to understand our mission. A panel discussion with a group of prime contractors offered answers to many questions. After breakout sessions, visitors viewed static displays, information booths, technology demonstrations, and listened to presentations on contracting and partnership opportunities. Executive Director to the Commanding General Gary Martin from the U.S. Army Research, Development, and Engineering Command said the event has grown significantly over the years. Uh, certainly, if you've been there before, you've seen the growth and attendance and the quality of the conference. Martin encouraged attendees to get involved in private organizations. If you're not quite sure where to start or how to get into these uh, organizations or how to uh, even access some of these guys, get a hold of our small business advocates here at RDE, Com, CCOM, and other organizations, and they will plug in. For APG Newswatch, I'm David McNally. Recently, the U.S. Army Research Development and Engineering Command's Edgewood Chemical and Biological Center, or ECBC, supported Project DreamWork, a Harford Community College partnership program with a demonstration of the magic of science. Demonstrating the importance and excitement of a future career path in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics to 8th grade students, ECBC scientists offered Edgewood Middle School students their expertise provided career insight and interacted with them during hands-on science demonstrations. This afternoon we had a wonderful presentation called The Magic of Science and uh, five students were selected by their science teachers to attend this afternoon five students from 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, and they were just thrilled. They were thrilled to see the activities, and especially at uh, this age, the hands-on activities. Middle school students have to have hands-on for it to be real and to really have an impact on their, on their feelings towards science. The students saw real-life bacteria samples as they learned about the existence of biological phenomena in everyday life were challenged to use precision while transferring sample liquid from a container into small tubes, and learned the effects of chemical reactions, temperature changes, and pressure displacement on different types of materials. My favorite part was when they were showing us the liquid nitrogen and we put all the balloons in there and it just, they just kept putting in more and more and I couldn't believe it. But it wasn't just the students having a good time. The scientists were as well. The most rewarding thing about today was definitely uh, seeing how much the kids actually enjoyed it and how interested they were uh, in science. Even the kids who came up afterwards and they said, you know, I'm not really a fan of my science class, but that was really interesting and that was really cool and maybe I'll pay more attention this time. This was ECBC's fourth year participating in the event. Four years ago we started to work with ECBC and it's been a wonderful partnership. Um, they have helped us out tremendously with our career expos, with our after school um, initiatives, as well as this year we started a tutoring program which we have 14 um, mentors slash tutors that come in in the morning and work with our students. I've been talking to some of our students who have been mentored by the ECBC uh, mentors and they have and their families have shared that it's been a great experience um, some of them are doing their homework a little little more rigid religiously and their grades have been uh, picked up so and they've been more communicative it's great to have a mentor there's nothing like someone um, that you can share everything with 
throughout your school day.